This is Harry Murray at Murray's Flash Shop in Edinburgh, Virginia. We've had great success in the last several years fishing crayfish patterns. As a kid, I used to seine them, and of all the live bait I used when I was 10, 12 years old, the crayfish was my favorite. But only in the last few years have we actually come up with a pattern that I'm well satisfied with. Uh, we tie this with rabbit fur on the back, pretty basic pattern, and we have had great success catching big bass with this. The first day I gave some to one of my guides that was doing a school here on the Shenandoah River, and he was showing some of the people how to fish them down around big boulders, and the first cast up under one of these great big boulders in water. It was about shoulder deep. He caught a small mouth. It was about five pounds. So we were well pleased with it. Now let's look at how you fish them and where you expect to find them. Jeff has just hooked a fish on the Murray's crayfish. Now the naturals live under boulders, cobblestones, Stones that range from softball size up to volleyball size or even a little larger. They're not out swimming around in the open sandy bottoms or even gravel bottoms. They really live under the stones and they scoot from one to the other. And that's the, to what you try to do with your pattern. There Jeff is casting up and across, which is a little different than the way we normally do it. But these cobblestones continue on up through there. Jeff knew there were a lot of crayfish in there, so he's casting in toward the bank, letting that sink deeply, and then strip it along the bottom in sort of about a two or three inch jump start, jump start, crawled across there just like you think a real crayfish would do. You know, they're coming down through there backwards. So that's the way we've tied the Murray crayfish pattern and they are very effective. Most of these crayfish would come out in the greatest number, say the last hour of daylight and the first hour of daylight in the morning. But in the evening, I was fishing just recently in the evening and walking back over to the bank, just like Jeff has in front of him there, had crayfish running all around the stream bottom under those boulders. So cast them in toward the shaded banks strip them out, and then shoot them up to a different location. You can, if you need extra depth, put a split shot about six inches out ahead of them. Normally, I don't do that. Now, where I was talking about our guide getting into that big fish, it was a really a water that was five, six feet deep out in a place like that, and he was showing these boys how to fish it down around these huge boulders. I suppose the boulder, we call it flat rock. I suppose the boulder was close to Cherokee, Jeep size. And Dale was swimming it right down around the bottom on that and boom, out came this big bass. So don't think that the only place you're going to get them is in that shallow water you're seeing right there. They will be in the deep water too, but I catch more fish doing just what you see Jeff doing there, working up or down the fish banks and then fishing my crayfish pattern in close to the bank in water, say from two, two to three feet deep. But the crayfish is a terrific pattern. Give them a try. See what you think. I think you'll enjoy catching the fish on them.